Hey guys, welcome back to another NHL 17 franchise mode video. My name is Mr. T-Man and we are the GM of the Washington Capitals. We are currently sitting in third. Um, we checked out our power play and penalty kill in the last video and it needed some work. So that's what we're going to do first. Um, I think our offense and defense, offensive and defensive lines are pretty good. Um, special teams, Ovechkin. Okay, so that might be a problem. Backstrom's not playing center. Uh, let's put Druen on the top. And then, or, yeah, Druen at the top. And then, let's put, uh, who, centers. Let's put, let's put Kuznetsov on the second power play unit. Uh, so hopefully that will help. Four man power play, Ovechkin. Why is Barber playing on the penalty or on the power play? I don't know why that's happening, but it's okay. We'll put Kuznetsov on the second line with Druen. Penalty kill. We got Eller Johnson. Eller is pretty good. Johnson is decent, uh, but Johnson has the better faceoffs. Bowie, he's pretty good defensively. Same with Shattenkirk. Gilbert, why are you here? I mean, I guess you're okay defensively, but do we have anyone better? Um, Niskanen. Yeah, well, let's put Niskanen in there. Change in current line. Uh, Schmaltz, you're not that great at the penalty kill. Is Kuznetsov good? Eh, he's all right. Uh, what about Backstrom? Yeah, let's put Backstrom on the penalty kill. With Winnick, eh, he's got decent enough defensive stats. Uh, I guess we could do, whoops. Put Backstrom on the second one. There we go. Alright, everything else is looking good. Goaltenders are good. Scratched, we've got Beagle, Wilson, and Diaz. Or Diets, I don't know how to say that name. Uh, but I think our lines are pretty good now. Let's continue simulating. I don't think we're going to make any moves at the trade deadline. Uh, but we'll simulate to then just to see if we need to pick up anybody or if we need to sell off anybody. Uh, we lose to St. Louis. Can we beat New Jersey? Big divisional game right there. Um, and we lose to them in regulation. That hurts. But we... We do beat the Winnipeg Jets, and scouting is calling us. We will go to the WHL for six weeks, and then I guess I'll simulate to the trade deadline. All right, guys, so I've simulated to the trade deadline. We are currently 36, 23, and 3, which is good enough for uh, fourth in our division, but we are only one point back of the New York Rangers and... Pittsburgh Penguins for first in our division. Uh, we are currently in a wild card position, but we're five points up on the second one, which is Philly with 70, so that's good. Uh, we'll quickly check out player stats and then see if we need to grab anybody or trade for anybody, I guess. Uh, Ovechkin is having a great season, 67 points in 62 games. Backstrom has 62 points in 62 games. Uh, Kuznetsov has 52 and 57, 38 and 62 for Juwen, so not bad for the second line. Uh, Johnson's up there. Shattenkirk. Eller is... Man, this guy excels on our fourth line. Uh, great player. Um, John Carlson is plus 21. Same with Kuznetsov. Let's see who our minus players are. Schmaltz and Vrana. So the kid line is not doing so hot, but they do have 21 points apiece. So that's good, I guess. Uh, 14 points for Connolly in 45 games. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so everything is looking good. Actually, whoops, my bad. Needed to check out the goalie stats because that was the only thing that was frustrating me in the last video uh, was that Holtby was not doing great at all. So let's see him. Okay, so he has 2.77 goals against average. He has 29 wins, 23 losses, 2 shootout losses. 0.900 save percentage. So that's actually gone down. So I don't know what is going on with Holtby. Uh, if we're going to trade him, I think it's an off-season move. Right now, we're doing well, so I guess we'll keep him. 
uh, but I, 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 I don't know what's going on with him. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's simulate for the rest. Actually, hold on. Before we simulate, we'll check out the trade, um, the trading block to see what players are out there, just in case there's a deal to be made. So, uh, Kudo bin from Boston, uh, Eddie Lack. That's an interesting name. Eddie Lack. Come on, where are you, Eddie Lack? Uh, 81 years, uh, 81 overall, not 81 years old. Um, maybe not. Uh, Corpus Allo, he's another goalie. He's 87 overall. He's young. He is uh, Bobrovsky's backup. Should we trade for him? I don't know. I think we might. Uh, it won't go through, so we'll make we'll, we might look at that in the off season. Uh, Peter Budai, uh, Francois Beauchemin. Um, actually, Francois Beauchemin. He could be a good def depth defenseman uh, for us in the playoffs if we make it into the playoffs. Yeah, 83 overall, not bad. One year left. Uh, 4.5 million per season. If you could take some of that salary back, that'd be great. Colorado, how about 50%? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Mike Green's another one. Maybe we could pick up Mike Green. 85 overall. Uh, one year left on his deal. He's on the trading block. And Detroit could take some salary back. That's always good. Uh, they could take up up to 2.260. Let's see if we can make this trade. Um, maybe we put Daughtery, prospect we signed, I think, in free agency. Uh, that's that's a good start. And how about um? Draft picks. How about a fourth? Is that good enough? Daughter in a fourth. Trade rejected. Uh, how about a third? Next year's third. Trade rejected. Uh, they're not comfortable with the salary retained. Okay. Um, I don't know how else we were going to be able to do do that deal, so I guess we're not going to be able to do it. Uh, let's check out uh, UC Jokinen. He's a good depth player to have. He could be on the third line, maybe. I don't know. Um, where are you? Left wing. UC Jokinen. 85 overall. If we're going to make a push, he's a good player to have. One year left on this deal. And Florida could eat up 2 million, or maybe not. Let's just see if they could take on that much salary. Uh, for a daughter, he's only whose potential is top 6D, so that's not that great. He does have a wicked shot, but I don't think we'll be using him. Let's see if this trade goes through. Trade rejected, okay. Um, how about a fourth? Trade rejected. How about a third? There we go. So we got UC Jokinen. He could play on our third line. Go to roster moves. Um, we need to put some players in the AHL. Okay, there we go. Uh, Diaz are going down. Oh, maybe not. Jay Beagle. These rosters, uh, these moves will result in your team being over the cap. Okay. I don't know what to do in the system. Um, let's put Dietz down. Nope, these moves will result in your team being over the salary cap. Okay. Um, make more roster moves. What should we do? 
Why can't we put Beagle down in the miners? Goaltenders, defensemen, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put Bowie down. Nope. Oh, why is this not working? Alright guys, so I was finally able to fix the roster moves. Um, this is our lineup currently. We've got Kuznetsov, Backstrom, Ovechkin. Uh, the first line stayed the same. Burkovsky, Johnson, and Druen also stayed the same. The new addition is Jokinen, Eller, and Vrana. Um, Eller is currently on the third line because uh, Schmaltz is currently out with an injury. And then we've, we've got Wilson, Beagle, and Barber. And in the press box, we've got um Schmaltz, Winnick, and Connolly. So we've got some pretty good depth for our forwards. Our defensemen, however, uh it's, it's lacking a bit, but not too much. I mean, if we go into our HL, we've got um Diaz and Chorney, who could both play on the bottom pairing if needed. Uh Blue Juice as well. Uh he's also pretty good. And yeah, we've got depth for all positions including goaltending because Grubauer is in the AHL so that's good uh, and yeah let's quickly simulate the rest of the season and then we'll end the video there. So there we have it we went 48 29 and 5 which was good enough for um, second in our division one point back of New York the New York Islanders who had 102 points and I think won the president's trophy so not bad at all. Uh, we'll check out the player stats. Ovi had 89 points, so that's pretty good for him. He had 54 goals, so let's see if that won him the Maurice Richard. Backstrom had 80 points. Uh, Kuznetsov had 71. 58 from Yo UC Jokinen, so he did pretty good on the second line. Or, I mean, on the third line, I think. Um, Jouen had 48 points, not bad. He had 18 goals, 30 assists, 22 points. 25 assists for Johnson. Shankirk had 46 points. Eller had 35 on the fourth line slash third line for most of the season. Uh, so we've had we have depth scoring all around. Um, Diaz, Blue Juice, and Galiev are the only players who didn't get a point, but their games played together was only eight, so that's not bad. Beagle had nine points in 35 games, which is pretty good. Um, he was great for filling in for players when they were injured. Connolly had 14 points in 45 games, so that's good for him. Barber had 13 and 50. Winnick had 12 and 60, so not bad all around. Our goaltender is the only thing I'm worried about, but in the end he had, let's see, 2.74 goals against average, um, 0.902 save percentage, so that went up, two shutouts, um, Mike Condon has been a beast this season. He went 10-1, which is insane. He had a .937 save percentage and one shutout. So not too shabby at all. Um, and yeah. So those are our stats. Actually, let's check out other players' stats, like the whole league. And then I guess we'll end the video there. Entire league, there we go. So Ovechkin won the Maurice Richard. Um... Tyler Sagan had 96 points, tied with John Tavares. Uh, ben had 94, 91 for Stamkos, 89 for Ovechkin. And then all these guys, so not bad at all for Ovechkin. He won his, I don't know, he's won so many um, Maurice Richards. I don't know what number this is. I think it might be six or seven, or maybe even eight, I don't know. Um... So yeah, there we have it. Um, so I'm going to end the video here, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Played you fast and read you in. No slow recital. You waited for him on the strip.